I gotta call it, this is the best digital comic service. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope, I'm BJ Kicks, and about a year ago, I made a video breaking down all the best apps for digital comics readers. I had just recently purchased this uh, 11 inch iPad Pro, and I started dabbling in the world of digital comics because it's great. They save you space, they can save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and so as much as I am absolutely a physical collector, like if I move the camera around the room, you'd see all of my comics stacked up all over the place. But as much as I'm a physical collector, digital comics have just been a really, really great convenience in 2023 for me, and it's only getting better. But in that rundown, I went through all of the major uh, digital comic services. We talked about DC Infinite. I even did a separate follow-up video for the Ultra tier. Uh, we talked about Marvel Unlimited and Comixology and uh, other apps and things like that. There's one app that I mentioned very briefly, and I was like, hey, I don't really have access to this one, but I heard it's good. Well, I finally got access, and this video is why Hoopla is the best digital comics app. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen while I tell you a little bit more about just what Hoopla is. So Hoopla is a digital comics reader, but unlike most digital comics readers, Hoopla is absolutely free. It's free and it's actually subsidized by your local government. So as long as your library is participating, you've got access to thousands upon thousands of books inside of Hoopla. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the home page here on Hoopla. And as you can see, there's three categories. There's audiobooks, comics, and ebooks. Uh, so I'm going to go to the comics section here. And here we can see that we've got tons and tons of options. They've got a new manga collection. Uh, they got every volume of TMNT from IDW, uh, The Reborn with uh, Sophie Campbell on writing and art duties. Um, they got new titles from Image. They've got a spotlight on Invincible, uh, Knights of Sidonia, all this other stuff, right? We've got a popular section so we can see what's popular, what people are digging right now. Um, and what's great about it to me is that you don't just get comics from one or two publishers like there. Obviously, the Marvel app is great for Marvel readers. The DC app is great for DC readers. And if you read in indie books, you got to kind of just pick stuff together from a bunch of different services. But with Hoopla, they've got partnerships with most of the major indie publishers as well. And so we can actually browse by publisher. I'm going to go to image real quick and you can see what's been added. What I also love about uh, Hoopla is that while they do have some single issue comics, most of what they have collected for you to read are the deluxe or the, uh, the the collected editions. So we've got Street Angel Volume 1, Saga Volume 11, it just came out. Uh, Cosmic Detective by Jeff Lemire. Junk Rabbit, that series just wrapped very recently by uh, Jimmy Robinson. So we're seeing a bunch of, wow, even Local Man. So we're seeing a bunch of recently released collected editions from Image Comics, or you can just browse in alphabetical order if you would like. So that's the Image section. Let's take a look at the Dark Horse section. Again, recent stuff. We got some Avatar Comics, EC Comics Archives, the Lobster Johnson Ar uh, Omnibus, Spy Superb from Matt Kent, Lost Boy from Jay Martin, The Ones. So... I think that's Brian Michael Bennis did the ones, right? All the Usagi Ojimbo uh, trade paperbacks, all that's here. Now, let's see how does this work if we want to actually borrow something. I'm going to go into the Marvel section. Um, now, I will go ahead and let you know that the way this app works is that you you sign up with your library card and it's going to connect to whatever your local library system is. Um, I using someone's library card uh, from Colorado. So that's what we've got access to. And what we'll, you'll get is uh, a certain number of borrows per month, as long as they're participating. I think my limit is like 20 books at a time. Uh, so 
let's just go to the recent DC releases and see what looks nice. Okay, cool. Superman Volume 1. If I wanted to catch up on Joshua Williams' Superman, let's go ahead and borrow that. When I borrow a title, it's now in my library for three weeks and it'll automatically return um, or I can return it myself. Now, returning a book does not uh, replenish your borrowing limit. It's still going to be whatever the limit is set by your local library system. But here we go. I am now reading Superman Volume 1 by Joshua Williamson and Jamal Campbell. Now, you can see as I'm thumbing through, it's pretty good quality. It's not exactly like Super HD. Um like you would get on the DC app, but you do still get the guided view in a way. So we can see how that guided view works, which is one of the things that I love about Comixology. And that's pretty cool. You get that guided view and it works pretty well. You, know, you can double tap and get back out of there. And there we go. We're reading digital comics. Now, Again, what I love about this is because it's through the library system, it's basically giving you access to anything that's already available on the book market. So with Marvel Unlimited, you're waiting three months for new single issues. With DC Infinite, uh, you're waiting either six months or one month for new single issues. But with this, you're getting the collected editions as they release in stores. So this Superman Volume 1, you likely would not be able to read on the DC Universe app unless you subscribe to the Ultra tier. Um, and it's the same for a lot of books up here. One uh, other example that I found is that they've got Titan Comics here. And let's look at the publishers. Go to the list here. Titan Comics. Titan Comics is publishing Conan the Barbarian. Conan the Barbarian, issue number five, just came out this week. And you can already read it on Hoopla. That's crazy. So in some cases, it's like up to the minute on what you can read. Dynamite has a bunch of recent stuff as well. The Red Sonya Omnibus that I just reviewed. Um, I don't see any of the Disney comics up here yet, but I did read some James Bond by, by way of Hoopla. So anyway, that's how Hoopla works. If I go to my Hoopla and I can go and see what I've borrowed, I can see what I borrowed previously, what I've read, um, as well as what uh, my limit is. So I can borrow 19 more titles in the month of December. And I got 11 days to finish Static Up all night before I'll need to borrow it again. It's another example of a book that was not available to me any other way besides buying it. So this is a great option for those of you who want to read comics and you find that taking trips to the LCS every single week or month is just too expensive, maybe too time consuming. You got a way to get access to most of the latest stories for absolutely no cost. And again, that's why, in my opinion, this is probably the best option for most people. As long as your library participates, it's free. And you don't even have to go to a library to use it. You just need your library card number. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to kind of go through and just browse some of these new books just so you guys can see what all is available. We got the X-Men Grand Design trilogy, Dark Knight Detectives Volume 8, very recent, Conan the Barbarian, like I said. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 145. That's an issue from like two weeks ago. That's already in here. Um, and a bunch of books that I would not be familiar with unless I had a subscription to a service like this because we got all the indie publishers and those are books that I generally don't buy. I'm typically a big two kind of guy. So this is a great way to try out books that you would not have tried out otherwise. And I think... That's probably the best note to leave this video on. So if you have not already, download Hoopla. It is great for digital comics. You are going to need your library card number. Your local library may not participate, um, which my local library doesn't. So my local library has Hoopla, but they specifically don't subscribe to the comic section. So depending on your area, you might have the same kind of luck as me, which sucks. But Assuming your library does participate and you've got access to the full library, that is super awesome. So I hope this opens your eyes. You can use the link down below to subscribe to Hoopla Digital. And uh, hey, that's going to do it for me. 
This was another video in the 25 days of comic series. I hope you're enjoying it. Go ahead and click on the playlist to watch the rest of them or get caught up if you haven't already. I'm super excited about it. I'll see you guys in another review real soon. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome. Download Hoopla and use it to read something dope today. Peace.